Well, hello everybody. So this morning I've come to this open meadow and when I was here a few days back taking pictures of the elk in the meadow, I was so taken back with photographing the animals that I didn't really look around. And then when I was done taking pictures, I kind of looked back at the whole landscape. And I thought this would be an interesting landscape to photograph because you get this open grassy area that's all this grass is kind of like yellowish or brown so it was really a nice color compared to the mountain in the distance with the snow on top and it kind of lined up nicely with the trees the line of trees across and then the peak in the distance the prominent mountain and just the open field so I come here for sunrise and you know this place is kind of special for me because this was like when I first saw the elk and took pictures of it so it's fun to come back and take pictures as a, of a landscape <coughs> but the thing is that the weather forecast was kind of cloudy and I wasn't sure I'm gonna get a sunrise and the weather forecast had it right this time it's pretty overcast I took a few pictures of the landscape kind of what I want a quick shot and it looks so all right you know and take one more shot here oh man as soon as I got set up to photograph the sunrise and the landscape here I quickly noticed two elks in the distance right there and they're just kind of chilling on the edge of the tree line but in the open meadow I can see them really clearly so this uh, landscape shoot this early sunrise has quickly switched to a wildlife shoot but at least this time I can actually show you guys what I'm doing and take you along with me so I'm excited let's hope we can get some good shots and I can uh, get a bit closer I'm really not dressed for uh, wildlife like this bright jacket they can see me probably so it'll be interesting to see I'm just gonna put my 100 to 400 lens all right so here's what I'm thinking you know like there's so if you're ever in the area there's like so many wildlife here like this is the third time I come here for wildlife in this open meadow on the Lake Minnewanka Loop Drive to kind of towards uh, to Jack Lake and third time here that I see elk and the, they just seem to be really really roaming in this area and you can probably tell because there's a lot of poop around let me show you right here look at that Try to move a bit closer, kind of following these guys. Try to get closer so I can get a close up, close up shot of the, of the elk without scaring them off. I'm gonna go do that right now. That would be really, really cool if I can get one great shot close up of the animal. I would be happy because right now it's still kind of a bit dark. I'm having to open up to like yeah, so 1600 to get a bright shot, but I think the more the day is gonna, the light's gonna get brighter, it's gonna get 
easier to manage and I can get a really good shot. So exciting though. Came here for a landscape and taking pictures of wildlife. But I knew there was a possibility that this morning this could happen if the weather wasn't doing much of a sunrise. And yep, let me go slowly. There's like three right now hanging on the edge and <coughs> I'm still a bit far to get a really great shot so I'm gonna try to go around see if I can get closer and take a picture you know I just want that one picture really up close I'll be super happy let's try that See if I can get that. Well, there's like three right now. And I'm gonna try to move closer towards them, try to see if I can get a close up shot of all three, or maybe just one really up close. That would be really, really nice. But I gotta move slow, slow and steady. I think I'm moving too fast, I don't wanna scare them off. It's kind of tricky here, but fun. Can at me. Oh no, 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 don't go guys. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Oh man. Alright. Put my back down so I can move more free. Just like that, they're gone. That was really, really fun. Like I said, I would have liked to get a close-up shot of them, but it's all right. I still enjoyed observing them. I think I'll just, you know, probably head down the, the drive here toward to Jack Lake see if I find some more wildlife because last time I found some you know the big horn sheep there so maybe they're hanging around too I can get a few shots if not I'm gonna call it a day and uh, thank you guys for coming along and I hope you enjoyed this uh, landscape photography slash wildlife photography video super super fun all right and this will be the end for the videos from banff unfortunately i would have loved to stay longer but i'll definitely be coming back around this time in october because it is different than summertime you get to see different kind of landscape and different kind of scenery so it's totally totally fun all right time to head back Upon arrival to the Jack Lake, I did notice a lenticular cloud hanging over Mount Rundle, which I don't often see, so I will leave you with this time lapse and long exposure photograph. <laughs>